Okay, all the websites and forums say that you need plenty of ventilation for your batteries. Now I've got this big hole here, but I bought three of these three inch vents. I plan to install a couple more here and one on the bottom. Nobody says how much ventilation you need. Sometimes this will be closed. That's why I want to add these. Um, I've seen people go to some crazy lengths installing these elaborate battery boxes and you name it. Um, they completely seal the battery boxes and then have an intake and an outtake. Some people even go as far as to put a fan in. I'm not going to do all that. I just need a place for the gases to escape should they boil out. I've been using a regular 12 volt deep cycle battery for the last 20 years or so with compartments that are just, you know, not completely airtight, but a little bit of a ventilation like this and never had a problem. But since I'm switching up to the two six volt golf cart and I'm going to be using a lot more power off of them, I figure uh, they may start putting out more gas and I should be prepared. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install this vent. Well, the first thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to draw a line on the dang thing. Ain't none of my pins going to fit in there. I'll have to take another circle, cut a template, and then go from there. Okay, let's try it again. This time we've left this little leg on here, which is going to help me judge the length of the outer part of the plate. So this new template should allow everything to line up just right. Now, ideally in a perfect world, I would have the same size circle as what I'm cutting. But this of course is the story of my life. I never have exactly what I need. Um, I could go buy it. I've probably got enough money to afford one. The main problem is, actually I may have one in my house. Maybe I should go check really fast. Because um, I used to have one but I didn't have the base. If this has the base, it's all about the base. Actually I like some treble too to be honest with you. Um, Let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, my base is not going to... I don't know, that does look very similar to what I have. I better go in here and check what I got, because if I've got the right size shit, then why should I be using the wrong size, right? But if not, we'll take a big cut, and then boom, boom, and we'll make it work, but let's see if we got the right size piece first. Well, I went and checked, and I guess I threw these away or put them in storage someplace strange because, um, what is that plastic in there? Hmm. Because uh, I didn't have the base piece, so the assortment of these I had, I don't know where they're at now, either thrown away or in storage or another toolbox that I couldn't find. So we're just going to make it work like this. taking me this long just to get through the metal. Now we're getting into the wood and of course the battery's dying. I wouldn't expect any less. But we have another battery fully charged. We may be running the generator though before this job's done. Because I have a feeling we're going to run through the other battery too. I'm also going to have to bring a chair because standing here is a pain in the ass. 
No point recording all of this. I'll turn these back on when we get closer to done. So of course, you know, I like to show this off every chance possible. Um, this here is the hole I've cut. Of course, I've still got to cut more. The battery on the drill died. Both batteries are dead. So I had to fire up the generator. I'll leave it running for a while and um, we'll get a charge on both of these batteries and finish the job up. I need to cut a whole nother hole and it's going to take several cuts. What I'm here to show you, what I want to show you is how thick the wood is on this thing. All the way around. It's built like a fucking tank. If you've ever seen the wall of one of these newer RVs, you've got the aluminum here, your little piece of aluminum. And then you've got your little piece of paneling, which is actually thinner than this piece of paneling I still have to cut through. And then they have just like maybe a quarter inch of foam. This is easily a half, if not three quarter inches of plywood right across the entire side of this bastard. Triple layered on the roof. Um, 1971, all this stuff was cheap, so they didn't really have any reason to skimp. These days, you know, I mean, there's some nice things to be said about these modern conveniences that you can't simply add by yourself. And there's also something to be said for um, having a brand new engine, uh, one of these newer designed engines that get better gas mileage. Although really, even the newer motorhomes aren't getting that good of mileage. They've still got to carry a lot of weight. So I don't know. I like solid shit, and this definitely qualifies. Except it can be a pain in the ass when you gotta cut through it. So this is nine kinds of fucked up. I should have just went and bought the proper circle in the first place. I didn't though. So now I'm stuck. Um, it, it, it wouldn't cut multiple circles like I expected. It cuts the first one just fine, but then when you try to cut the second one, it slides all over. So at the very least, I've got to cut this aluminum out of the way. Then maybe I can use the circle to finish cutting through the wood. If not, we'll use this for the entire job. This thing works for everything. It's just not ideal and it's going to be really slow for this particular job. <laughs> Actually, that was much easier than I expected. Um, I don't know if I'm going to just do the rest of this with this now, or if I'm going to try the circle to cut back through the wood now that I've got the aluminum out of the way, but this thing is much more precise than I gave it credit for. Well, you don't need to see all of this, um, but you're getting the picture. Uh, what the hell? I'll keep it recording. I can always trim the excess off. You know, if it becomes a 20 minute video, you can always skip and just not watch the whole thing too. It's not like I'm going to cry.
And if you did somehow watch through all of that, congratulations. Because every time you watch an entire YouTube video, you make a, cro a troll cry. So if you've watched to this point, then you've done your good deed for the day. Do whatever you want. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. If you don't have the proper tool, sometimes just try what you have. You might be surprised. It may work a lot, a lot better than expected. Even on the intersection where this doesn't quite have enough reach, it's still working much better than that frickin' circle thing. You can see over here, this one pops in quite nicely. This one here is almost ready. We've just got to cut the rest of this crap out. I think that's it. Well, well, that's good. Except the vent won't go like that. It'll go like this. But yeah, it's actually tight, which is exactly what I want. <clears throat> so now we get to go inside, cut a third one in the floor so air can come up from underneath to make it expel out the top. <coughs> We've got to put some sealant and screw these down. And most importantly, we've got to vacuum up the mess we're making. And then actually connect these 6 volt batteries together and get them going. Okay, now comes what should be the easy part if the glasses will keep working. I see them flashing at me, I don't know why. Now, I'm not using Dicor for this because Dicor is self-leveling. And we don't really want this to level. Um, we want it to stay put. I hope I'm not putting too much. We'll find out. We can always mop off any excess. Oh no, we're using just the right amount. If anything, we could use a little more. Okay, yeah, we did put a little too much, but that's okay. We can wipe off what comes out over the edges. Not a big deal at all. Okay. Might would have been a smart idea to use screws that were made to tap into aluminum or drill pilot holes, but these will go. These are all purpose. I use them on everything for a reason. Now you don't need to watch me put in the other one or the bottom one. It's just to kind of give you an idea. I hope this shows up on video. Actually, it's still, if you can see it, there's still, that's not smoke, that's um, vapor from my vaporizer. I'm blowing it into this hole because I want to see how well these vents work and if air is actually moving in there. And it absolutely is. The only question is, is it showing up well on video? That's from the puff I just took.
I really have no idea if this is showing up on video or not. Maybe if we look at it from the other angle. But you should be able to see all that e-juice coming out. 